True. <laughs> um, as we disciple women and share examples of good works with them to encourage and motivate them to obedience, how can we avoid sounding a trumpet? Should we only speak generally, or do you think it's wise to be specific? Um, well, first of all, I think you have to define what their spiritual gifts are, and they have to understand what their gifts are, and then I would encourage and motivate them to use their spiritual gifts. And, um, you know, I think it's hard to know the motive of someone's heart, but if you were to uh, observe them boasting about something or always talking about themselves or things like that, I would definitely just lovingly admonish them. And um, I remember one year I was asked to do something, and I said yes, and I remember looking back at my motivation, it was to please the person that asked me. And I knew that going back, it was, a, and I told her later, I said, I should have never told you I would do that because I really wasn't doing it to honor the Lord. I didn't think it was something worthy of the kingdom, but I did it to please you, and that was a wrong motive. So um, I would just, you know, maybe ask them, why are you doing this? But first of all, you got to define their spiritual gifts, then uh, encourage them that way, and then just watch, you know, just watch them, but don't judge them. You can't know their heart, but if you see outward manifestations of pride, I think I would uh, point that out lovingly to them.